Oh, hey folks. Logan here with Duncan's Boats. I'm just enjoying my morning coffee here on the bow of this uh, Regal 36XO. But uh, since you all are here, let's go ahead and do a quick walkthrough of this boat. Uh, one of the things that makes this boat really unique is this cool uh, bow layout. We've got a big lounger, but uh, if you're out cruising, you know, you want a nice little rumble seat, uh, both these will fold up too as well, so you can sit here, look forward. Uh, you're not missing out on any entertainment because we do got the uh, fusion speakers up here. In addition, if you do need some more shade, uh, this one has the bow shade option too. Of course, as any boat this side, we're going to have a really large uh, through-haul windlass right here. But stepping up and walking on back, uh, real easy to walk back, single level cockpit up here at the bow. Stepping on through here, this window is really easy to slide. And uh, you can see here we got the full beam retractable hardtop open, allowing all types of air, really making this boat feel uh, like, like a day open boat. But with the press of a button here at the helm, we can go ahead and close it. And uh, what that's going to allow you to do with it closed is you can actually AC or heat this boat really open you up to uh, all seasons, seasons of boating, at least down here in Charleston. Now here at the helm, uh, taking a look, what I really like, extra wide helm seat right here, flip up bolster, and me being a little bit shorter, I like this uh, standard teak st step up. Just gives me quite a bit of better line of sight at the helm. Here at the helm, we have dual Garmin 16 inch screens, our bow thruster along with our Yamaha Hellmaster joystick is actually standard here on this boat. In addition, we got a VHF and a Fusion stereo. Uh, pretty much everything uh, important here can be controlled on this boat, including you do actually have fresh water, waste, diesel, uh, your batteries, every, um, all, all your gauges and stuff are actually all integrated here. This is an awesome day boat, but it can actually do some overnighting capabilities too. So let's go ahead and step below and take a look at that. Stepping down here at the forward berth, we got a queen size bed, easily accessible there from either side. Plenty of storage, including a locker right here. And of course, we got a TV here to fall asleep to. Spinning right around here, uh, microwave below, and here's where we're going to see our control panel for all of our electronics on the boat. Aft cabin, really long couch back here. We got a TV, you can put the kids down here, let them play video games, or, or just fall asleep to a movie. But you can actually fill this out and make this a king size bed. Uh, really, really nice feature on this particular boat. Next, we're going to take a look at the head area. Beautiful, lux luxurious, laid out head. Seeing plenty of stores, both top and below. And we do have a separate shower right here. Decked out antique and a closing panel right there. No curtain or anything, but actual panel. Now we're going to step uh, topside and talk about how this boat can entertain. This is what's called a galley up design. So we got plenty of counter space right here. We do got a single burner, a sink, and this particular one. We optioned out with our dual refrigerators option. Off a little bit of storage here in the center. Of course, right above it, we can go ahead and drop the TV down. And that combined with the uh, salon seating area and large teak table is going to make for great entertaining, including this flip-flop seat right here. Now do note, because this is sort of your co-captain's seat, we can actually raise this seat up right over here and it'll raise pretty high so you can have visibility uh, towards the bow too. 
When we have more people on the boat or really want to open this boat up even more, we do have the sliding glass door option. Real easy to open up. And then we're going to go ahead and drop this window with the press of a button. And now we're ready to grill and entertain all day long. Back here at the aft area, plenty of seating there on either side. Your teak table can actually go back here too as well. Your mount's going to be right here too. So multi-use is there. And then uh, Regal's been doing this for years. But uh, this does have your sliding seat back here. Depending on if you want more space here in the aft cockpit or if you want more space down there on the swim platform. Stepping back here to the swim platform, especially with that seat sliding forward, we got easy access here uh, to either side. So no matter what side you're boarding on, uh, real easy to get on and off. This boat is powered with the Yamaha 425 v8 offshore engines and these engines make this boat feel like a little sports boat uh, gets dang near close to 50 miles an hour give or take a uh, real agile boat out there in the water just a foam boat to drive uh, if you're into some speed and stuff we saw a ton of storage inside the boat but the largest storage unit is actually right here Climbing down here, two big options that are really important. Uh, first, we have the diesel generator, and then right behind me, we have the seat keeper. We've been asking for that from a lot of customers, and uh, really just helps that boat be stable out there in the water when uh, when you got a lot of wave action and stuff. Lastly, we're going to step outside and just look at the hull side profile of this boat. Just a beautiful looking boat. We got nice big windows both below and a top side to bring in a lot of open air. This boat can be used as a great day boat, an overnighter, or even a longer distance cruising boat. Uh, folks, Logan here with Duncan's Boats. Thanks for watching the uh, video here on our 2023 Regal 36XO. If y'all have any questions, let us know. Thanks for watching. Have fun out there in the water and be safe.